All right, today's posting is from the glossary is isness, 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 an aspect of both reification and assertion. Isness is the attribute of a fixed character or realness to how the self and the world are presented in alienated being and are represented in language and images. When the false self manifests itself as if it were real, its very being transmits to others an, an implicit conviction that it is as it seems. So it sort of transmits isness. Similarly, when the false self represents, it, it's, it represents itself in language and images, it implicitly states that the world, it, it implicitly states its world as if it is as represented. Isness. So, So when the, the newscaster says, the poor newscaster who I've, who I've used so many times, but when the newscaster whom we all watch so often says, Jim, I never would have expected that storm to come in that quickly to the weatherman. Do you know what I mean, Jim? He might, he's probably playing the role of a newscaster. Or I say, back in a minute, after the commercial. It's often the case that news people lose touch completely with what they're actually talking about and just say the words in a certain style. Red Sox win in a fire in Dorchester, back in a minute. You know, hundreds of people killed in the fire, whatever. They're not paying attention to that. They're not actually speaking, but rather playing a role. And yet they are playing it not as a part because they're, play they're in the real world, in a sense, in the sense that we refer to it, and they're claiming to be real. They're claiming that, that, they, that they are, really are, as they seem. <clears throat> so isness is I sometimes refer to it as the the uh, characteristic of the false self appearing as if it were real. And of course that makes it very difficult to see through. It's very powerful in its conditioning of everyone listening to believe that it is real because that is the meta statement being made by the speaker the newscaster. And so that's one main reason, probably the major reason that people feel so withdrawn and isolated, disconnected from others, is that the world is presented to them, the unreal world is presented to them as if it were real. And therefore their own longing for a completely different world is not, not confirmed, not validated, not given any space to breathe, just goes inside and everyone tries to be like the others, become one of the others in order to be part of society, which is a, a, an ontological necessity for people to feel in some way connected to others, even if it's a somewhat artificial way. So, Isness refers to that. It's um, it's also a, a phrase I should just say in passing that it's it's a phrase used in decon the practice of deconstruction and the vast literature devoted to deconstruction criticizes what it calls the metaphysics of presence. And it, you know, the metaphysics of presence is to say that something that is really changeable 
contingent is <laughs> to say that it is is not to say that it is in the process of change that it is not really there i mean you, you can see this in in when you're if you take take you know sort of the basic class in philosophy in college and they introduce you to john locke and john locke says man is uh, originally alone and then comes into and with nature in nature and then comes into contact with others and then others pose the following threat and so man has to do this and this is all this is all describing this it's a form of assertion about the world that that just says that the world just is this way and these are the conclusions i draw from it and uh so as I say in the in the short in the glossary discussion of the term assertion, assertion of that kind always transmits a certain isness, which gives things a fixed character that are not fixed, and uh, you know. So that's a, a pot. I mean, deconstruction does make this develop this critique of the metaphysics of presence, but on the other hand, it doesn't offer anything <laughs> and to replace it because the other side of what it calls the metaphysics of presence, this attribution of isness to a world that is really can be changed and often is not fixed in this way, but rather, uh, um, much more supple and complex every situation is um, what's on the other side of it is the transcendent creative longing of human beings to, to create a world that is in the process of being created by one another, to take power back from a world that seems fixed and outside of us by making it something that we experience ourselves as self-generated with one another, not something we peer out at as if it is happening to us, it just is this way, but rather that we ourselves are creating, which we are doing anyway, <laughs> We don't realize it because we think we're peering out at something much bigger than we are that's causing everything. Actually, we are doing it with others, but we are not able to own that activity of creating the world because we're withdrawn into ourselves. But when we emerge from that withdrawn state and connect with others in a powerful way, we can suddenly feel the world is something we create and we are going to create it. We are not gonna take it anymore. As the slogan goes uh, from the angry, actually conservatives developed that. We're not gonna take it anymore. We're gonna make the world in the image that it ought to be made in, which is a, a loving, spirited, mutually connecting space. No wars, no projections, no fanciful enemies, no hate. <laughs>